the sequence number one and we'll edit again on video channel number two and what we're going to do uh, we're going to adjustments lightning effects and we'll add it to the video too and as you see right here we got a nice lighting effect and we're just going to we put the video one off and we're going to work on this lighting effect because it looks a really little bit wash so we're going to make the spotlight coming from here like about here making it smaller about this make a little bit longer wider there spot and you can choose this kind of uh, lightnings right here you have Omi just like like kind of a spot uh, you see when it comes and you have a uh, spotlight and I'm using spotlight because it's the beautiful one right here I think so we go ahead and check these settings out and we have this radius and put it like this and we have the menu radius is right what we did right there and we can choose the angle right there the position and make a little like this and we can choose the intensity and not too much and the focus and we're gonna make the focus really low so that it kind feather feathers it out if I goes like that so you can also add two lights if you want five even and here we have the global settings of all lights you can color them all red or you can color them all blue and where the, sp where the spot is becomes lighter so that's also a really cool nice thing about it you can make it black but as you see here if we make it black the spot makes it uh, only the shadow is not really visible so I make it just white because I want to see things I don't want to be blind so uh, let's go ahead and bump this layer and what this is going to do with layer number one and let's put it on and what do what do we see a kind of bevel and make we make this white is high and what it does it looks a little bit like 3d and we make this bump channel to be and we're gonna make it a little bit more height so as you see here it kind gives a 3d feeling a 3d feeling so let's go ahead and render this all right looks pretty cool and as you see here a kind of stroke has appears is from the levels and let's just go ahead and add one more thing we're gonna copy this lighting effect beneath right here and we're gonna make this lighting effect to layer number two so that it gives not too much let's make it put it low or I have a bad idea let's just delete this and so let's go ahead and add a few options here on the lightning so if we flip this on the other side and we can hear exposure so make this a little bit low and surface material we make it just also low about minus and what this does it will make more depth in the text and we can add more gloss and ambient light it's from everything so like about say about right about here it's 20 do the default 
and we can change the bump channel to alpha also and if we change to alpha you see where the spot comes it makes like a 3d feeling and we can make it air or G or B but if we make it alpha we see the A uh, or uh, A right here is coming out so if we increase the lightning the spot just say we're gonna increase it a little bit real smooth right right over there and make the angle right over here and make a little bit back a little bit right over there and adding more intensity and as you as you, as you see right there it looks real more 3d realistic and that's really what we want so let's render this and see what are our results I think this is pretty good it looks real 3D inside and the depth and we have here uh, a reflection and it's just awesome to see, look at that, look at that, you look at that, awesome and he just moving like a 3D and the light is following along with the text so this was my tutorial about a 3D moving text and I'll just say go fast and levity here from mixeslimits.co.nr and see you the next time.